Okay, drums again. Yeah. I'm in Brooklyn. Yeah, yeah, we are definitely in Brooklyn. Okay, we are uh, delighted to interview um, old friends who are a company that are doing a form of uh, energy harvesting that's totally original and new. Um, it's called Wit Energy, and uh, Mary Wicket, who's a founder. A that's founder, correct, that's correct. Uh, in at the very beginning, uh, and uh, she uh, perhaps can tell us a little bit about uh, how things have changed in the last year, how the project is progressing. Okay, basically the WIT is a unique solution that harvests all natural occurring emotional energy and turns it into electrical power, which can be stored and you can call upon it when you need it. Um, the diversity of the WIT... How we progress. Yeah. Oh, how we progress. The diversity of the WIT is that it, now, we're now showing how it can be used in dragonflies, as in wind, in wind. We can show it in subsea oil, for subsea oil and gas, and ocean studies. We've uh, extended our team. We've now got Admiral Sir James Bernal Nugent as our chairman. We have a new CEO with 35 years in manufacturing background. And basically, he, he knows exactly what to do to bring the products to the market. And the, the, the market is an enormous, from very small to large. This here gives you an example of developing countries on a, a backpack, or so, so it can be in a backpack, or it can be on a bull cart. So you're taking the natural energy that's happening from rough terrain, and actually taking all of that energy and giving them a power solution. What are we seeing here? This is an example of subsea. Now subsea. Uh, for subsea oil and gas sensors, but also the actual studies in our ocean has become more and more uh, of concern. We want to know what's happening. We want to know where m mammals are actually moving from and to. We want to know about security. We want to know about ocean temperatures. We want to do understanding what's actually happening. And we can do that now by having a, what we call a it's, was it, do we stalling call it? wing. It's called a stalling wing, sorry. It's called mm. a stalling wing and basically the stalling wing will harvest energy from emotional water. Uh, so that could be used in air or water or is it specifically water? Specifically for sub, sub sea. Um, when we're looking at, at uh, uh, applications on the air, we, we've designed an unstable shape called the dragonfly which actually moves um, uh, constantly uh, presents a surface to the uh, um, to the wind. So in all these applications you're harvesting six degrees of energy. That, that's the, correct. You've got rotational motion in three dimensions and linear motion in three dimensions. Absolutely. And the, um, the swinging weight is a part of the function of the device. Yes. It, it is a part of yeah, the function yeah. of the device in most of the embodiments. Um, certainly, within the, the, the wind, the potential wind application, uh, we would move away from a swinging weight. We would we would look at having uh, simple sails to to produce the effect of uh, the motion. And, and if it was. Perceptions change with the business, startup business, obviously, as you learn uh, what's wanted, what's out there, and all the rest. But what is at the moment? What do you think could be the biggest uh, income for you through partners or directly in ten years from now? Is it in water? I think what, what's actually happened is the business has grown. We've become very aware that we have very strong IP but we would like to find partners that want to manufacture or yeah. buy a license. And the license will be specific to, say for a dismounted soldier, they would be able to buy the license to fit in a backpack. Yeah. Um, yeah. They could buy the applications it. that we're uh, uh, targeting at the moment are both marine and uh, for the, the personal device, for the, for the uh, backpack or the enthusiast uh, walker. Um, we we see the, these as quite uh, large markets, but uh, uh, as you know, with a with a startup, um, your direction can change. Uh, yeah, yeah. So that would be a watt, so a, a few watts. 
that would be five, five, five watts, watts on the back, back, right, back right. unit and we would look, be looking at 15 watts and upwards for a, a small marine device. Right, and you were thinking about dinghies and things, weren't you? At yes, higher there's still, watch, wattage, but yeah, yeah I think there's still, there's still, still, yeah, there's still, there's still yeah. lots of things for safety mm. at sea. What we need to do is find a company that, that has a problem and is needing a yeah. power solution. Yeah, and yeah. together we can bring the technology yeah. as an R&D company. Yeah. They can buy the license and then we can get the technology out there. Yeah, I've always thought it would marry up very well with a lot of other harvesting technologies yes. like we've just had a talk in the conference by TwingTech on the airborne wind energy flying drones and they can do that from a violently moving platform at sea and in the platform could be your device and they would have the wind power so we uh, met this gentleman, maybe. we met this gentleman him, at the World you? Future Energy Summit, we oh. won a place in Abu Dhabi, ah, and he right. was there, to, he was there, he was there as well, he? yes, yes that's we've great. got three more talks coming <laughs> oh, now on airborne wind energy, it's just one thing we're focusing on this year, and um, so yes, that's extremely interesting, so it, it could be that someone would be making a basic module even that gets used in different applications. That could happen, I think what we need to do is find... We are already in discussions with very large companies, but the, the actual fact is we, we will have our CEO and our chairman, chairman Admiral Sir James, um, actually in negotiations yes. with the larger That'll companies. That would be great. That would be great. I mean, when it's on a backpack, you'd worry about the weight, would you? I mean, how does the weight compare with a battery? I realise this works for this, the battery. Well, in the defence sector, the, in the defence sector, Peter, that's 11 kilos that um, a soldier's carrying now. Right. We can reduce it from 11 kilos of battery to one kilo of battery. Wow, yeah. So very often energy harvesting is more heavy, but that's less heavy, that's much less big, heavy. Big, a dramatic difference. And it means that also the other advantage is the soldier is in charge of his power needs. If he needs more yes. power, he runs a bit faster. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes, that's right. So he actually, in the remotest of locations, if he has to communicate with someone and he's low in batteries, he can run up and down or jog or and he's shake, it, shake yeah. it about. Absolutely. Or even if he was on a vehicle, the vehicle yeah, shaking the would do vehicle. it. So he wouldn't yeah, need to do anything. Yeah, the that's vehicle. really interesting. Yes, it's wonderful. So how many of you are there now? Oh, we've got 10, 10 or 11 of us in the team. Yes. So we've got a head of manufacturing, we've got a head of electronics, yes. we've got a project manager, we have um, financials, and we, yeah, we've built the team up. That's wonderful, oh. <laughs> it's wonderful. Only one thing you haven't done, and that is you haven't learned a Devon accent. No, nope. <laughs> that, that ain't going to happen, Peter. <laughs> it's not going to happen. She's not, not, even nope, not even <laughs> trying. No, not even trying. That's wonderful. Okay. Well, thanks very much. I'll thank just get you, back Peter. and thank share you. a session. Thank I'll you very see much you again. indeed. Thanks again. Okay.